Welcome back. Today I thought we'd do a painting that's right out of the heart of Alaska. We're going to start with a black canvas, which I've already covered with a coat of Van Dyke brown and Prussian blue. And these colors are transparent, so it'll still look black. In this painting, we want to show the moon in the sky with some happy little clouds floating around. Uh, we'll put some almighty mountains, some beautiful frost-colored bushes, and, and we'll see what happens from there. I'm going to start with a little titanium white. And we'll start right up here where we want the moon to be. And just make little X's. And just start working around. You want to start in the center and work outward so the light gets progressively darker as it moves away from the moon. And we'll go out in this direction so that it hits the curvature of the earth and bounces back up. Okay, there we go. And already you should be able to see how the white paint is beginning to pick up the color underneath. And we'll just blend this together. There we go. let this get too bright. We still want it to, to look like night when we're finished. So just work it around and around and all the way out to the edges. And we'll do a little over here. Now then, we'll take the large brush and very gently we'll bring this together just by making little X patterns. The you know, last time we did black canvas did not end up especially it's great. I've had a little more practice at this time. So. Now let's put the moon in. And we'll do that by taking a clean brush and we'll load it loaded full of white paint. We'll recircle it. And we go right straight into the canvas where we want the moon to be. And we push quite hard and push the paint right into the canvas and just turn it. There. And then with a knife, very carefully, we'll take off just the excess paint. Let me clean this old big brush out here. Now this cloud up here, 
Since it's above the moon, the light's going to strike the bottom of it. So we put the highlights on the bottom rather than on the top. There. Maybe that's nice little thing right out through here like that. Maybe a little light striking around up in here. Just a little something to leave. Okay, now we'll take the big brush. Be sure it's dry and clean. And we're just going to gently hypnotize this just to bring it together. Isn't that fantastic? Look at that. Look at all the little things that happened in this clown. This is unplanned. It really just happens. You really can't control what's going to happen here. Don't try to. Don't bite it. Use what happens. Okay. Let's make a happy little mountain now. We'll take some blue and some brown, still using the same color. And we'll draw in our basic I'm not really happy with that so far. Really push. Really forcing that paint into the material. Maybe we'll make this one come up a little higher so we can see clouds behind it. We use a large brush and pull that paint down. This removes any excess that we have left on the canvas. So we're trying to get all the paint off the canvas if we possibly can.
back to one of our golden rules. You need dark in order to show light. So we're going to start by putting Great. some dark on here. Build we'll load a lot of paint into the brush, and we just push some little bushes right out of the right out of the brush. There he comes. There he is. Just putting some dark on, so we'll have some light showing. We can take a brush that we use a little bit of magic white and a little bit of plain white. Thin paint will stick to a thick paint, so we're thinning the paint just a little bit. Then we're going to push beautiful little snow covered trees way back in the distance on here. There, look at those sun guns.
we work forward, we want these trees to begin getting much larger to show distance in this painting. In so many of the techniques where people paint very rapidly, the paintings are very flat, very overworked, washed out looking. In this technique, you can create depth that is unbelievable. Distance in paintings. And this is how we do it. We use size, we use color. All of these things combine together to create the illusion of distance in a painting. Alrighty, now let's do some more trees. We'll put some on the other side over here. Put an almighty tree up here. There he is. Very dark. Trees live in your fan first, but you have to scare them out. And it takes a little practice. The first time it's going to be a little touchy. The next time it gets easier. Each time you do it, you learn from it. You progress. I've made it for 20 years, and I'm still learning. Every day I learn. Spend time studying nature. If you wish to paint nature, you must understand nature. Talk to trees, look at the birds. Takes. Okay. Now then, let's let's do an almighty tree, big tree. Hey, Bob, Come right over here. Up, okay. okay, here he comes. Big old tree. You got your coat out yet? You may need it here any second. Things like this on the black canvas you can do a multitude of things with this, a multitude. You can use all different colors. All you're looking for is a color that's transparent so the black shows through. Use this black to your advantage. I have another tree right there. There we go. There are a lot of people we have taught to do these black canvases that are absolutely making a living out of it now. It's so far it's been a lot better than that other And we have literally taught thousands did. and thousands of people to be almighty painters. But these are still a little uh, To create things of beauty they never dreamed possible. And you can do it too. You can do it. Just jump right in here and paint along with us. We'll teach you how to do it. We'll make a happy painter out of you also. Okay, I think that's enough trees for right now. Let's take a little bit of white and blue mixed together. Looking for a dark blue here. And let's go right into this area here. And let's put some, let's put some happy little bushes and trees back in here. All this is is the shadow color. We put the shadow one first and then we'll highlight it. And while we got the shadow here, let's put some right into the water. Just reflect some of this right in here. Okay, now let's. Oh, let's see some bushes over on this side also. Let's we'll start bringing this painting together. Now at home, you have unlimited time. You can sit and come up with all kinds of fantastic things to do with this. You can put tremendous detail here. We are limited on time, so. We're trying to give you ideas. We're not trying to just give you something to copy. We're trying to give you an idea to teach you a technique so that you can use this and make unbelievable things. Back into the magic white and the titanium white, and we'll make some happy little bushes here. Look how that color stands out against the black. work more and more with this, you will know just by pulling the brush through the correct consistency of the paint, if it's too thin, if it's too thick. It's only a matter of time where you can pull the brush through that paint and almost tell what brand it is. Now we'll just come across and we'll turn this into beautiful little reflections. And while we got the brush loaded here, we'll just let's do this one right here. Big tree here. There we go. A little more of the magic white. And we'll 
come right down here and put a happy little bush. Now, let's reflect these right into the water. Just let them reflect. Of these dark areas showing. Be careful that you don't cover them all up. Your painting will get very, very flat. Look at all the snow on those. Okay. And work them in layers so you have distance in here. Do one bush at a time. Okay, we'll put a few little sticks in here. Old that wood looks. It's a super way to make old 
buildings and stuff if you ever want to try it. Can't think we need a door in here now. Somebody might come along and need to stay in this old cabin, so he's got to have a way to get in. There we go. And we'll take it some highlights around the door just by using the knife. And probably when this old trapper lived here, he's just like all the rest of us. He ran out of room. So he probably built him a little shed out here. So we'll just build us a little shed. Just bring a little snow for the roof first. There we go. Just like so. Take a little bit of dark paint. A little bit of brown. And we need a wall over here, so we'll just drop it in. slab cabin, so we'll just cut in some slabs here with the point of the knife. There we go. Take a little point and we'll clean this all up. By now you should begin having a painting that's beginning to take shape, beginning to look well. You should be very happy with it. And I think we've said it before, but painting should do one thing for you. It should create happiness in your heart and it should make you happy. Let's take a little bush right here. Just let a few of these run down. Maybe, maybe another little bush right here to sort of push this cabin back into the painting. Right along my cabin. Okay, we need some highlights on this little bush. There we go. Then we'll cut a few little sticks here. Just cutting right through the light paint, letting the dark show through. All right. This painting's beginning to uh, get close to being done. Let's take the fan brush here. Now normally I would leave these trees very dark. I want to take a little bit of blue and just tap a little so you can see a little better at home. Just to give you an idea. Normally I leave them very, very dark so they, they really give the impression of nighttime. Like so. Just here and there, just a few little highlights. Awesome. Okay, save that. Pause here.